Hello friends, I am Varsha Sharma working as assistant professor in the Biani group of colleges. On the behalf of Guru KPR, I am presenting or delivering my lecture on the topic of option. Option. Option is a contract between the buyer or the seller. The seller of the option contract provides a right to the buyer to purchase a specific assets at the specific time period at a specific price or at a specific assets. In the, in the option contract, it is very essential to know or it is very important to know that the buyer has a right, not the obligation. But the seller has the obligation in this contract. It means when buyer wants to exercise his option, then it is essential for the seller to exercise the option contract. Basically, there are two types of options, call options and the put option. Call options, in the call options, buyer has a right to purchase the specific assets as a specific time period. In the second one is put option. In the put option, buyer of the option has a right to sell a specific assets to the seller of the option. But it is very essential that they have the right, not the obligation. Buyer has always the right, not the obligation. Before the detailed discussion on this both topics, it is very essential or important to Understand the joining terms used in the option. First term is exercise date. Exercise date at the date at which the contract is mature. Second one is strike price. At the time of entering into the contract, the buyer and the sellers are ready or agreed to buy or sell the goods on which price is known as a strike price. Expiration period. Expiration periods are those periods in which we can exercise our options. There are two types of expiration period. First one is American time period and second one is European option. American option can be exercised in any time during the year. But European option can be exercised only on the maturity date of the option contract. Last is option premium. Option premium is basically cost of the option which is paid by the that is paid by the buyer of the option. So friends Again we go on the call option and the put option. When we exercise the call option, whether we exercise the call option or not exercise the call option, we for this we study the three case studies of the call option and three case studies of the put option. In the first case, for all the cases the numerical is same. The, suppose that our option premium is 3 means option cost is rupees 3 and the exercise price at which the contract is occur is 25 and each contract stands of rupees 100 shares. Each contract stands 100 shares. First case. In the first case, we assume that the stock price is rupees 30. Here, we make the table in which we include the six columns. First column is relevant to the premium. Second column is exercise price. Third column is total outgo. And fourth column is worth of the stock at current price. And fifth column is profit and loss. First is premium. Premium comes 100 into 3 because here the total number of shares is 100 and the cost of the premium is 3. When we purchase the call option then we have to pay the premium of rupees 300 and the exercise price is 25 and our total exercise price is 25 into 100, 2500. When we add premium and the exercise price then we find out the total outgo. It means it is the actual price of the option premium plus exercise price means total outgo is 2800 but if we seen suppose in the current market price is rupees 30 then at the time the worth of the stock at the current price is 3000 at this time the buyer of the option exercise his option because if he exercise then he purchase his option at the rupees of 2800 or if he purchase from the market then it cost is 3000 it purchase Le it purchased less than rupees 200 if we exercised his option. It means he at this situation he earns a profit of rupees 200. So at this situation the buyer of the option exercised his call option. In the second situation assume that the stock price is 28. Stock price is 28 and here the premium is same according to the first case and Exercise price is also same 2500 but the stock price is 2800 or here total outgo is equal to our stock price, current stock price. It means in this situation, this is situation of no profit and no loss. At this time 
customer or an investor exercise his call option because he want to save his 300 rupees he wants to save his 300 rupees because he paid 300 rupees as a cost of taking a option if he purchase from the market then he directly to pay 2800 but if he exercise the call option then he save rupees 300 next question next case is case number third here we assume that the stock price is rupees 21 the same option premium the current market strike price is 2500 total outgo is 2800 but the current price is 2100 here we see that our market price is less than our option prices and here every every investor buy at a cheaper rate so he buy from the 2100 but if he exercise his option so he exercise his option at the rupees of 2800 but he get the losses of rupees 700 but we know according to the option uh, definition that buyer has a right not the obligation so at this situation he is not obligated to exercise his option if he is obligated then he earn a losses of rupees 700 but he is not obligated so her so his or her losses is bounded to rupees 300 at this situation he purchased from the market because this because in the market price is 2100 and not obligated to exercise the option so he his losses is bounded to rupees 300 the same situation we analysis in the put option but in the put option custom investor exercises option when the current stock price is less than the strike price when the current market price is less than the strike price the same situation premium is 300 and exercise price is 2500 but in the put option we find out the total inflow in of in the call option we find out the total outgo because it is a buy right but in the put we have a sale right so we find out the total inflow so here 2500 minus 300 is equals to 2200 but the stock at a current market price is 2100 which is less than our option price so every customer or investor want to sell at the higher price so he exercise his option and gain the and gain the profit of rupees 100 in the next case suppose that the assume uh, suppose or assume market price is 2200 the premium is same 300 exercise price is 2500 total inflow is 2200 and the current market price the worth of current price is 2200 this is the situation of no profit and no loss in the last case we have seen the losses situation of the put option 300 and 25 300 the same option premium 2500 is exercise price and total inflow is 2200 but the market price is rupees 27 the worth of the rupees is 2700 again we go on the definition that the buyer of the option has a buyer of the option has a right not the obligation at this time again he use his right he exercise his but at the present he is not exercise his option and directly sell his specific assets into the market because market rate is 2700 but if he exercise his option then the losses is rupees 500 but he is not obligated so he is not exercise his option and bounded her losses bounded his losses to the rupees of 300 thank you thank you thank you very much for the further details please visit to our uh, website www.gurugpo.com